Hey family, welcome back to Lightworks. I hope that you are blessed and well. If you are new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. There will definitely be something here for you, either in this video or in any of my other videos. So thank you for being here. If you are returning, hey soul family, what's going on? I love you guys so very much. Happy New Year to everyone. Um, this is just going to be <clears throat> a message from our angels. Things that they want us to know going into the new year, which is today. Okay, <laughs> we're going into the new year. Tomorrow is going to be 2024. So... Let's get into it and see what the divine wants us to know. <clears throat> so as I ring the singing bowl to clear the energy in the space, um, let's go ahead and take a few long, deep breaths. Inhale positive life force energy and exhale and release any stress or anxiety that you are feeling at this time. If you're sensitive to sound, then you may want to turn down the volume just a little bit. Okay, Most High God, Divine Holy Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, Spirit Guides, Divine Beings of the Highest Bright Light, please come in and connect with me now. Please allow me to channel the current energies for the collective to reveal what we need to know at this time. Let there be none of me and all of you. Most High God, please anoint and authorize every word that comes out of my mouth. Archangel Michael, Please be present with us to protect our energy. Please close the door on anything that is not of the highest white light. And please encamp the angels of protection and war around us at this time. Archangel Raphael, please give us your insight and wisdom on how we should go forth and continue to heal. Archangel Haniel, please give us wisdom and discernment with our intuition. Ashe. Archangel Sandalfon, I feel the presence. Thank you for being here with us. Help us to uh, express ourselves through prayer and help us to connect to you and to the divine. Ashe. All right. Beautiful, beautiful energy. All right. So let's see what the divine wants us to know going into this new year. Ooh. <laughs> The law of least effort. Okay. It says, Nature's intelligence functions with effortless ease, with carefulness, harmony, and love. And when we harness the forces of harmony, joy, and love, we create success and good fortune with effortless ease. An integral being knows without going, sees without looking, and accomplishes without doing and that is from Lao Tzu okay this is from the spiritual the spirit seven spiritual laws of success okay y'all know y'all bookworm over here okay what a way to go into the new year the law of least effort okay God is saying to us already this is the season of harvest okay that we're going into God is saying the faith, the kindness, the goodness, <clears throat> the hope, the trust that we have in God is going to propel us in this season. This it's not going to be hard labor, okay? Things are going to come to us easily. I love it. Thank you, Most High. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to get a few cards out of each of these decks. <clears throat> Look at the devil trying to block my throat chakra. I think not. I think not. Let's 
sweet Holy Spirit. What do you want us to know today? What do you want the divine ones to know today? Okay, they want me to pull and gather all the cards. Have no fear. This is one of them. What else, Holy Spirit? And then we'll talk about everything. Okay. the deck we have Archangel Filii, honor animals, communicate with different species. I feel like our spirit guides are going to be connecting um, through birds or animals. There's going to be a lot of messages being sent to us at this time. So I'm going to try to make some space to fit all of our cards here. <clears throat> And then we're gonna go over and see what's here. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, for the beautiful messages. We love you. And thank you. What messages do you have for our loved ones for 2024? Going into the new year, what should we be aware of? spirit break the rules on the bottom of the deck it's okay to break rules at this time only you know how to work things out effectively as long as it doesn't hurt allow yourself to go beyond your limits and of course life is short so you might miss the fun if you don't okay mm, this is against the grain type of energy we about to shake things up in this season <clears throat> Okay. Yeah. I want two of these. Some of these, they want me to clarify. See the ones that are surging now. This one. Transformation. Mm -hmm. What else was here? And balance. Heart and crown. One step at a time. I see the mountain ahead and dedicate myself to taking one small step at a time. I make progress by staying focused on the present moment, the current task. Thus, I regain my ease of living. Okay. One step, one prayer, one meditation at a time. Breakthrough, the season of breakthrough. And love. I love this energy. Mm -hmm. 
encouragement absolutely what else holy spirit breakthrough <laughs> I knew it thank you Holy Spirit yes 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 okay let's get a couple more angel messages and then we're gonna get into it this is gonna be more of an informative read just for them to give us this information all of these are clear and precise messages of what they want us to know going into the new year we're not letting any of that nonsense in that we already know exists. This ain't that, okay? We already know what the Decepticon energies are trying to do. We are not going to entertain that whatsoever today. I'm not letting that energy in here. Okay? So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. They're like, absolutely, because you are protected and that's all we need to know. <clears throat> What should we be aware of? Divine angels, archangels, guardian angels. What should we be aware of? Ancestors, spirit guides. What do you want us to know? All right. Four. Okay. So let's get into this. Middle path. Destiny. Mm -hmm. Healing angel and compassion. All right. So, okay, they want me to take care of the clarifiers first. So, one, two, three. All right, we have make a decision. This is card number 19. That breaks down to a 10. There is an ending coming up in which you will need to make some type of decision. 10 is all about completion or going into a new chapter, a new beginning of some sort, okay? And this is like balancing the scales in some way. So there's a decision that needs to be made. Someone here, we're gonna clarify this. Are you choosing to prioritize yourself or another in this situation? Accept divine guidance pointing you toward your own joy. You deserve it, okay? So what I'm picking up, <laughs> There's something or someone that you are still having some reservation about moving away from or there's something what from what we're hearing here that you're choosing over your own healing I'm hearing okay over your own healing compassion and healing thank you holy spirit wow okay we have healing angel and compassion here so you are having compassion for someone that your guides are wanting you to move away from this energy and show yourself this compassion and allow yourself to heal okay let's see what this is about split it on withdrawal and robbery okay someone you're being guided to withdraw from this person place or thing this person is a taker okay whoever this is that they're guiding you to make a decision about only you are going to know who that is for you okay this is a general energy reading for the collective however our angels want us to know overall this is the energy they want us to be in going into 2024 however each particular situation is going to apply differently or it may not apply at all okay so just take only what resonates and leave the rest so somebody's being guided to withdraw from a taker somebody that's taking advantage of you make a decision to choose you okay i feel like you are in this overload energy about the decision so we're just gonna pull one card to sum this up and we're gonna move forward and clarify the remainder holy spirit what is this make a decision energy that you want us to clarify? 
What do we need to clarify this with? What is this, Holy Spirit? What is the message? Make a decision. Why is this here? This is falling on middle path, destiny, and encouragement. Okay. Fury. Whoever this person is, they don't have good energy. Whoever they're guiding you away from. This could be somebody you grew up with. This could be a family member, friend. Why is Fury here? Okay. So this, yeah, memory. This person from your past is not happy about the destined path. That's why Fury fell on top of destiny and middle path and encouragement. This is this person not wanting angry because you're going on your destined path, okay? With the middle path, this is where you are right now and why the divine is saying, hey, you're in this middle path, fork of the road energy. What are you going to do? It's time to make a decision. Are you going to step into your destiny or are you going to be over here with this person that does not have your best interest, okay? Wow. So notice that fury flipped right on top of destiny, middle path, and encouragement. This message that's coming out is your guys encouraging you to make a decision to choose you. Okay? I hope that's coming through clear. Okay. They want to clarify all is in perfect timing of card number one. Okay? So this is the start of something new. I feel like this is all connected, okay? Once you make that decision to head through this door with the divine, this is it. It's time to take action now. I will be here to help you every step of the way, okay? So I feel like they're wanting this to be clarified to eliminate the confusion that you have about this path. Holy Spirit, why is all this in perfect timing here? all is in perfect timing what do you want us to know gain and vow your commitment to the divine to this spiritual path this healing journey is going to bear fruit for you you're going to reap what you have sown you made the vow you made the commitment in perfect timing you've been planting the seeds and, and soon your crops will start to bear fruit, okay? You will start to see the fruits of your labor in perfect divine timing. Beautiful. That is a promise. Okay, we have Archangel Bakpi. It is time to fly. Listen to your intuition, okay? Again, this is, uh, I feel like this is confusion energy. And now when we started, I said you're going to be receiving a lot of messages from birds, okay? Take a look at these feathers and birds on their shoulder. They're going to be guiding you. This is where the intuition comes in. They're going to be leading you. Let's see. Why is Archangel Bakpi here? It's time to fly. Listen to your intuition. Why is that here? Yeah, this is the energy of working with your spiritual team. Collaboration, okay? Your team, collaboration. This is what listening to your intuition is. It's you quieting your mind to hear the divine speak to you, to hear them guide you where you need to be, what you need to do. There's something else here. There's a specific message, okay? This one may not be for everybody. Concerning intuition, Holy Spirit, what am I picking up on? Concerning intuition for one or more of our loved ones. What is this? 
Yeah, illness. And this vow card. Okay, for someone here, we have trap on the bottom of the deck. They're guiding you. They're trying to connect with you to make you aware that somebody has been doing something, okay? To try to trap you, to make you sick, okay? So, I'm guessing that you haven't been listening to the prompts, the nudges, them whispering in your ear, the intuition, the signs they've been sending you with this illness card. If they've guided you to do something concerning your own health, do that. That's for all of us, okay? But specifically for this person that they're wanting to let know, this is someone, this could be this person that they're wanting you to withdraw from somebody around you, okay? That's working against you. Okay, these cards fell on top of stay focused. Everything happens. It is time for solitude, okay? That lets me know that stay focused, be aware of your surroundings and who's around you. All of these cards just fell on this and that's how they <laughs> got my intuition. See, I'm following the prompts of what how my guys are instructing me you'll notice in the way that i read how they work with me okay anyway it is time for solitude and individual working be careful if there are interferences with your process okay somebody is trying to interfere with the process okay somebody's trying to do something to disconnect your connection to to work against this collaboration somebody that knows that you're intuitive is trying to mental okay so this illness could be to have you in your head to make you feel like you're not connecting to make you doubt your connection with your guy so stay focused and that means stay clear keep a clear head keep cleansed energy stay connected to your guides balance out your energy anything else we need to know about this group or this person why did I say group group why did I say group Holy Spirit yeah group yeah it's a group it's more than one person Okay, so stay focused, stay aware, and stay connected, and listen to your intuition, okay? Get the plugs out your ears. I went back to this, so somebody needs to really, really pay attention. They're sending dream messages as well, so they're guiding us to get more rest, okay? All of us, they're wanting us to get more rest. Anything else? Okay, so what I'm going to do is go through the rest of these and then we'll go to the next row and see what else needs to be clarified this needs no clarification okay archangel michael up here protecting us card number 39 breaks down to a three 12 to a three you are protected you are safe within my bubble of light you can proceed with confidence so they're wanting us to keep moving forward keep working on all the things that we need to work on those projects that we've pushed to the side now is the time to get back on it whatever it is that you've been doing or you desire to do no better time than the present to start working on that um we all need to get some journals or organizers to start managing our time because god is really wanting us to be in position this year and really start manning our post and doing what we need to be doing to help raise the vibration of humanity and to help put more positivity into the earth because as we're pushing more positivity in the earth confirmation as we are putting more positivity out okay 
the Decepticon energies that we know exist are going to try to push their negativity out. So, um, I'm saying that to say, let's get our journals together. Let's get journaling. Let's start planning what we want to plan. Let's start understanding what we are here to do, stepping into um, your purpose, what you feel um, God is leading you to do. Okay, and y'all already know the rules that God has for that. As long as it's serving humanity for the highest good of all, you're working for the divine of the light, and it makes you happy, God doesn't care. Okay, God does not care what that is. You just need to be happy in about doing whatever this is. It needs to be something that's going to help the world be a better place and um, help you as well and help you to create abundance and that's it okay so now we have transformation okay no 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 we did you are protected we have loved ones in heaven this is our spirit guides our angels our ancestors our passed over loved ones loved one in heaven thank you loved ones in heaven for drawing close at this time and always okay they're always with us be sure that we are showing gratitude as often as we can. <laughs> Be grateful. Showing our loved ones gratitude. Showing them love. Thanking them every opportunity we get. Because it, it it's really unbelievable to understand how much goes into orchestrating our lives. Protecting us from all of these energetic attacks. Physical attacks. Um just guiding us navigating through every day they're doing this with us and for us so just so gratitude every chance you get this card says be thankful to those who assist you and even those who are messing your life up <laughs> they all come for a karmic reason this brings you closer to the divine okay absolutely so some of these trials that we are sure to face they propel us they push us into purpose so thanks <laughs> all right have no fear yeah fear is a trap of the ego allow me to use my sword of light to free you from the disquieting feelings holding you back okay card number 14 that breaks down to a five which talks about change changes are coming this year there will be significant changes we are already seeing the start of that I don't know. I'm not a person that likes to watch a lot of TV, um, but I have been guided to lately watch and see what's going on in our world. And I'm telling you, God is tearing down these industries, these institutions, this false, false everything and everywhere, all of this fraud and deception. This is coming down. It's already starting. It's already evident. Okay, so don't be afraid. Okay, you're on the winning team. So you're good. Okay, let nothing stop you, okay? So we already got that one. Now we'll get to transformation. I am constantly evolving. I improve inwardly by working on my weaknesses and refining my strengths. Life ensures I'm presented with situations that will help me learn and grow, okay? That's what they're talking about. These karmic in energies that are sure to help us grow, thanks. I am aware of my progress and open my wings to light. So a lot of us are still going through transformations, okay? I feel like we are ever evolving energies that are gonna always try to learn and grow. That's, that's what I've always strived to do. I am a, a life learner. I'm always going to want to learn. That's why I like to read a lot um, and really uh, use my discernment with everything because just because these books say something, it doesn't mean that it's all true, okay? So know that just because I have all these books, it doesn't mean I've gained knowledge only by what's in these books. Is what my intuition and what God guides me to retain from these books and understand from these books. Um, that is why I also have a lot of 
books from religious doctrines. I have a Quran right here. I have two Bibles here, three Bibles actually. I have the heart of the Buddhist teaching. I read a lot of different things because there is some truth in all and some lies in all. So God just guides me to lead and leads me to what I need to know because ultimately it's all connected. <laughs> it's all, there is one God with many names and this religion, religion just separates us. Okay, that's how I feel. Um, this is not about that and I'm not judging anybody that does subscribe to a particular religion. Um, I just have my own personal relationship with God and I, I don't need to go to any institution of any kind to connect with what's already on the inside of me. And um, that's all. Yeshua, Jesus, um, our brother, our ascended master, one of many ascended masters that I can connect to. I don't need to go to church to do that. Okay. Um, I don't know why I'm being guided to talk about all this now, but I'm just following God's lead. Okay, there's um, a lot of this church stuff. <laughs> We're going to see exactly what that's about. There's a lot going on behind the scenes that will be exposed this year. That's being exposed right now. Everything that glitters is not gold, okay? God is within us. So we don't need to stand or sit underneath these pastors that have ulterior motive. And I'm not saying that they all do, but many of them do. And you will soon see them falling. Okay. Now back to the regularly scheduled program. <laughs> don't, it says don't lack down. Some of these cards have some misspelling on I know this, but it's all the same. We will get the message out. I don't know if this meant, means to say don't lack down or don't back down. Okay, listen to your heart and embrace all the wounds. Remember you once have had started these dreams. Okay. Remember you were once a warrior to fight for your own good. You still are indeed. So I feel like it's don't back down they meant to say. Okay, this is like the fight in us. Know that we are protected. Know that we are surrounded by angels, spirit guides, ancestors, galactic beings, divine beings of the non-physical. The earth itself protects us. Okay? Know this. Be confident in that. Make more eye contacts and spontaneous communication. Open your chest. Take a deep breath and activate more self-confidence. You are simply amazing. Yes, you are. <laughs> this is giving me the energy of soul family taking flight. I don't know if y'all could really see the angel wings here. This is beautiful energy that they're showing me right now. Okay. Stay focused. Why is this card surging? Be confident. Somebody, a group of people protesting against somebody that's causing you to have a lack of confidence. Your squad is deep. Let me let you know, okay? Somebody is not believing this. This card is, keeps coming out. Somebody's not hearing the messages or feeling the presence, okay? Call upon, yeah, you're not able to see, blind, you're not able to see that you are protected. And since you can't see your energetic protection, somebody's feeling alone. You're not alone. If you are in the upright, if you are a divine one and you're trying to help you raise the vibration of humanity, you are working with the most high, then you are protected. Know that. Holy Spirit, what do we need for be confident? What am I picking up on? What is this person afraid of? Yeah. Just wanted to come out in the reverse. Feel like somebody's throwing attacks at you and nobody's helping you, but this card came out for a reason. 
I'm being guided to turn it up. I mean, turn it over. God is helping you. God sees you are afraid. Be confident and know that you are protected, that God is always going to come to your aid. Okay? Fear not. This is why this have no fear came out. Mm -mm. Be confident in knowing that God is protecting you, that your angels are protecting you. Okay? Thank them. When you feel fearful, call Archangel Michael. Ask Archangel Michael to surround and protect you and to encamp the angels of protection around you. Okay? Come on, for this to come out on be confident, God is trying to God is letting you know. Okay, there's no let there be no confusion. Stay focused. It is time for solitude and individual working. Be careful if there are interferences with your process. Occasionally, ideas and solutions come to your mind when alone and totally into your plan. This is you staying quiet, connecting. Okay, this is them dropping the download. This is when the ideas are going to be dropped on you when you are in this uh, introvert, isolated in energy where you're in your meditative state. Am I clarifying? No. Okay, we got be grateful already. Nothing. That, yeah. Let's be grateful. What do we need to know, Holy Spirit? I feel like it's tied to this one. Yeah, live and learn and calm, okay? <laughs> live and learn and calm. They're just wanting you to take heed. This is take heed energy and know that you are safe. You can rest assured. You can be calm and know that you are being protected. And for that reason, be grateful to your guides, okay? And also, they're trying to teach you something when you quiet your mind. They're trying to give you insight. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Balance. I find balance between each sphere of my life. I am the master of my daily life. I make time to nourish the spiritual and physical. I bring love to my world by fulfilling the needs of my body and soul, okay? So this is the preparation that I was talking about, not only with making our spiritual plans, but whatever desires you have for your physical body, your mind, your activities that you wanna do, things you wanna create, okay? This is what they're guiding us to do, to start really making plans and start sticking to those plans and start holding ourselves accountable when we fall off. And that doesn't mean ridicule and condemn yourself for it. It just means to redirect your focus back where it needs to be so that we can start producing these things. I know I have a truckload of things that I've been dragging on that I haven't uh, been doing consistently. And... I'm really going to try to be more diligent in doing the things I need to do. And as if I don't have enough journals, I'm going <laughs> to get a new one. Something like organizer or something to help me keep myself on track and start checking things off of these lists that we need to do. Okay. I'm right here with y'all. I'm right here with y'all. All right. Destiny. Your destiny is to blossom, shine, and transform to an ever greater light. And we also have middle path. Embrace both sides. The middle path is the road to a balanced and more peaceful life. Now these two together, they're wanting me to clarify. Because somebody's at this place where you need to make a decision about your path. Let's see. Oh, they want me to use tarot for this one. Hold on, y'all. Okay. 
Okay, we have the Hermit and the Moon that I split it on, okay? They're saying go within so that you can see beyond the veil of something, something that's hidden, okay? I feel like this is what's creating the stagnancy with this middle path, the unknown. Yeah. Holy Spirit, why is destiny in middle path here surging? Why is this Holy Spirit? Okay, this is too many, but let's see. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna take it. The high priestess also talks about secrets like the moon did. Okay, this is about you seeing the truth of who you are, the power that you hold, okay? Something is causing doubt though, what is that? Okay, because the Queen of Wands is very powerful. Very, the Queen of Wands is a go-getter, very creative, very powerful, makes it happen, okay? That coupled with the, the Sword of Truth, the Ace of Swords, clarity, decisive decision-making skills, and you could be intuitive as well. Um, something is creating some type of confusion about your destined path that has you on this middle of the road energy. Okay, now they want me to use this one to see the why. Oh my goodness, and when you put it like that. Okay, so we're not going deep into this. This is not what I wanted to do, but it came out. So, <sighs> cleanse your energy thoroughly, consistently, repeatedly, daily, whoever you are. You have a powerful mission ahead of you. You're being elevated, okay, in this season. And there are a lot of people that are going to want to stop you and try to have you in this confused energy about who you are. They want you to see yourself as someone else, someone that's weak, okay? I went right back to this card again. So they're sending you projections. We're not staying in this energy because it doesn't matter because you're going to cleanse your energy and we're going to keep it moving and you're going to cut this nonsense right on out your system and energy, okay? So, no, you're showing up as the high priestess, the king, I'm sorry, the high priestess and the queen of wands or king of wands if you're male or female, okay? So, cleanse, cleanse, cleanse. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, they're trying to cause some problems for you. What's the outcome? Somebody's losing their gifts and they're experiencing loss. Whoever's trying to do this to you. So don't worry about them folks, okay? I'm taking this off. I don't want none of this nonsense on my board today. We're not, we, we know they're there, like I said, and we know they're trying it. We know like like we're amping it up, they're gonna amp it up too. They're doing it all for, no, for nothing though, because they lose. That's how it is written and so mote it be, okay? Don't worry about them folks. What else do you want our loved one to know, Holy Spirit? They're going to be sorry. <laughs> what else do you want our loved one to know about the destiny, Holy Spirit? <laughs> Chill. <laughs> Relax. Stay connected. Meditate and connect with me. Your, inner, your angels are saying, we promise we got this. Do not worry, okay? Just get into your destined path, what you meant to be doing, okay? The shift in the energy in here. Yes, we're partnered with the Most High. <laughs> Ain't nothing they could do. Nothing at all, okay? Okay, so let's get Compassion and Healing Angel. Compassion says, when you show greater compassion towards yourself and the universe, no, 
when you show greater compassion towards yourself, the universe automatically responds by showering you with greater blessings, okay? This is about our manifestations, our thoughts, the energy that we carry, the energy that we sit in. This is our guys reminding us this a lot of us are being upgraded in many ways, which means our manifestation energy is amped. So we got to be careful with what we're thinking about, what we're speaking about, okay? Um, identifying what's your energy and what is not and banishing that mess right on out, okay? Because we're going to start manifesting at a rapid pace coming into this season. And like it says... When you show greater compassion towards yourself, the universe automatically responds, okay? Automatic response energy, okay? What are you saying? What are you asking for? What are you sitting in? What is the universe going to automatically respond to? We've got to be really, really careful this in this season. The heal, oh, Okay, they want me to get something for this compassion energy. What do I need, Holy Spirit? Thank you, Holy Spirit. I went right to it. This is the energy they want us in. Not a foolish energy, but this energy, the full energy is new beginning energy. Knowing that I'm trusting God. I'm leaping. I'm taking that leap. I know that the universe is going to be here to catch me. I know that what I'm manifesting is coming, coming in. Nothing can tell me different, okay? This person is on the edge of a cliff, but there's, look at, look at them. They're not worried about it at all because they know they are protected and safe, okay? This is what they want out here. <laughs> What's behind it? They know, okay? We know this abundance of all things that we are manifesting is here, okay? No doubt this season. No doubt. None of this Five of Pentacles energy out the window, okay? No more of this abundance of all things. Positive, okay? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Healing Angel. At this very moment, you are being bathed in gold, pink, and deep green light. Accept this healing. We, your angels, surround you with wings of love. You are eternally free, eternally fresh, and eternally abundant. <laughs> Tell me God ain't speaking. Whew. Okay, eternally abundant. How can we ensure that we are eternally abundant? By manifesting eternal abundance. <laughs> By sitting in the energy of eternal abundance. Okay? By staying in this, I know it's here. I know it's coming. I know I'm safe energy. Breakthrough. How many beautiful heartfelt wishes have been crushed by fear? How many times has society's voice of disapproval cast a shadow on your dreams? It is time to break free of these false beliefs. What I just say, God is breaking this falseness out of here. Out of here. All this, it has to go. It is time to break free of these false beliefs and realize your dreams. Allow your heart to guide you. Trust your inner guidance. The time is right, okay? I'm telling you, this season is about to be one for the books. Trust and believe me when I tell you. It's already starting. Okay, they want to clarify something here. What am I using? Breakthrough. <laughs> when you put it like that, when you put it like that, I split it on Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Cups. Breakthrough season is going down. Trust me when I tell you it's going down. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What else should we be aware of, Divine One, Angels, Ancestors, Spirit Guides? Thank you so much for the messages. 
what is this breakthrough energy there's something else though that somebody's being guided to close the cycle on back to ace of pentacles ten of pentacles Woo -hoo -hoo! endings okay endings okay Woo! i'm getting excited okay there's something significant about a breakthrough something is coming to an end something that has someone bound here someone that had you stressed it's breakthrough season you're going to receive news about whatever this is holy spirit what am i picking up what is this energy that i'm picking up that somebody's ending the devil is ending the death card to the devil do you hear me? This is over. It's a wrap for this guy. Put him on his head. I'm turning it over and putting this breakthrough right on top of it. And the world card is on the bottom of the deck. Speak Holy Spirit. Everything that has been taken ace of pentacles with your opportunities that have been taken from you the ace of cups with the love that has been neglected destroyed taken away from you those loved ones that's supposed to love you that didn't all that nonsense all this toxicity all this dark energy all of this devil crap is going endings mm -mm -mm. Whew. My goodness. Now, is that a breakthrough or no? <laughs> Speak, Holy Spirit. This ain't me. Y'all already know. If you've been here with me, you know ain't no boast. Ain't none of that over here. I do not matter. This ain't nothing but God. Nothing but God and God's agenda over here. There is no me when it comes to this. Whew. Holy Spirit. Okay. Anything else or breakthrough? Nope. <laughs> That's that. That's that. Whew. Let me fan myself with this encouragement. <laughs> Freak Holy Spirit. Whew. Okay. Encouragement says, Your love is invaluable to the earth and those around you. Even though you may not always see the positive effect your love has on others, trust for it does each time you offer love don't make me cry holy spirit Ooh. each time you offer love through a loving gesture thought or word you plant a seed of love and love always generates more love trust and continue your loving work oh Thank you, Holy Spirit, Spirit guys. I love y'all. Oh, y'all give me two seconds because the divine just told me this is for you, y'all too. But I love you guys. And I don't do this for any other reason than to spread love and to be obedient to God and and notice how God orchestrates everything. How they had me make sure I read this card last. This is so beautiful and I'm so grateful. <laughs> yes. I have lived and I have learned and I know that God is everything that is all worth it in the end because God is with us every step of the way. God is teaching us through these tough times that we have to go through. This year is going to be a beautiful season for us, but we are still going to have to do the work and continue to learn, although we can learn and implement what we're learning and spread the love and help others to grow as well, okay? So, show as much gratitude as you can to the divine, okay? Um, our spirit guides, our divine ancestors. Um, I 
I'm a card baby. I already know. I'm very, very highly sensitive to energy. And when I heard that and they nudged me and like, this is for you. That really touched me. So I'm very grateful. I am. Because I know, I know that, you know, everything that we speak is not always received well. And I'm grateful for all of you to be here on this journey with us. And, oh, I'm <laughs> face full of tears. <sighs> We're doing this. We're gonna keep rolling. God is with us. We're on the winning team. <laughs> okay, anything for this? No, okay. So no, let me read this again because I feel like I got lost in them <laughs> taking me off track. So this is for everyone. This is for all of us. Again, it, encouragement. It says your love is invaluable to the earth and those around you. Even though you may not always see the positive effect of, that your love has on others, trust it does. Each time you offer love through a loving gesture, thought or word, you plant a seed of love. And love always generates more love. Trust and continue your loving work, okay? So whatever we're doing in some shape or form, like I said, God is asking all of us to get where we're supposed to be at or at least start working towards whatever our purpose is. And as long as it's like an encouraging word, it could be that you are just going to decide that it's your life's purpose to just spread love wherever you go, wherever you are at the moment, okay? God doesn't care as long as it makes you happy, uplifts people and humanity, helps to raise the vibration and pour more positivity into the world. I don't want anybody to get confused about like getting frantic about what you need to do as if you need to. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. And I realize that that's what I'm picking up on is the point because somebody here is getting worried about what what can I do what do I need to do just quiet your mind and connect with God and God is going to lead you to exactly what's your purpose and what you're meant to do okay it could be very well to be exactly where you are but just add a little spice to what you're doing add a little something to what you're doing um, reach out to somebody that's not going to expect it and show them love and gratitude or, or kindness or whatever it is just be be a good person as much as you possibly can. Nobody's perfect. Um, just try to spread love and peace wherever we go. Um, just expose the devil whatever opportunity you get. <laughs> I love exposing the devil and there's so many ways to do that. Like for example on here, um, I got some downloads. I did a video and I kind of exposed some things about me and I don't care about that. I mean, I, I think somebody in the collective got like secondhand embarrassment about me talking about myself, but to me, that's exposing the devil and that's a great thing. And I'm gonna keep doing that every opportunity I get because the devil is never gonna have nothing on me, okay? Because the devil will try to use what you wanna keep hitting in that little corner of your mind, your soul and your spirit. The devil feeds off of that. And the devil will try to attack you with that. So I'm gutting all these corners out in my mind, body, and spirit. The devil ain't going to have nothing to work with. That's what I'm striving for. I'm not perfect. My healing journey is going to be a ever-evolving <laughs> uh, journey. And um, God is going to continuously give us more lessons to learn. There's going to be more ops to take down. But have no fear. Okay, I love you guys. Happy New Year. Have a beautiful and safe night tonight. Okay, um, know that it's about to go down in a positive way. Confirmation. Okay, and um, if you are in need of a meditation, um, check the Lightworks goodie bag. If you all would like to, I'm going to be, I know everybody's going to do their own thing. It's New Year's Eve and people like to do what they like to do. Um, I'm going to be doing me some connecting, okay? <laughs> that is what I need to do. Um, I do that all day anyway, but um, 
I definitely say sometime over the period of this day, I'm going to be doing some serious connecting. Probably now, actually, since the spirit and the energy is here after I close out, I'm going to connect and just really spend time with the divine and really get tapped into what we're going to go into in this uh, beginning of the year. <sighs> and... Um, that's it. So I love you guys. Again, check the Lightworks goodie bag if you're in need of a meditation. Um, if you're interested in donating to the channel, my information is in the description box. It would be greatly appreciated. If you are interested in um, getting a personal reading, my information is also in the description box for that. I love you, family. Happy, happy new year. Be safe today. Make good choices today, okay? Expose the devil every day. And I will see y'all in the next one. Peace and love. Ashe.